Hello there. So I'm joined once again by the lovely Tanya McCready. Tanya McCready, together with her husband, Hank De Bruin, are the co-owners and the co-founders of Winter Dance uh, Leadership Training. So today, then, we're going through the question of frequently asked questions. What types of questions there do you guys uh, get asked at Winter Dance? Well, I think our, our most common question when we talk to people in corporations is just what the heck we're doing there at all, <laughs> um, how our world possibly relates to theirs. And the first one we were hired to do was um, for a big health company in, in Toronto, downtown Toronto, and they were having their senior executive meeting at, at the Marriott. This is actually where we, we went that first time. And anyway, we didn't realize that the rest of the audience didn't know we were coming. Uh -huh. So, uh, you know, we were there early and and had that sled that we just had up there outside the conference ballroom and uh, the meeting broke up and the doors opened and, you know, out came uh, out came the executives in the meeting and and the stairs that we got. I mean, Hank standing there, you know, with his long hair and his beard and his ball cap and, um, you know, he did have a dress shirt on because we had no idea what to expect that meeting. But, uh, you know, we had this sled with snowshoes sticking out of it and an axe and a ski pole and and the looks we got and we're like, they have no idea why we're here. <laughs> and then the lady who hired us came out. We're like, you didn't tell them we were coming, did she? She's like, no, that's the beauty of the surprise, you know, <laughs> so um so yeah how our world relates to theirs is the first question but even though I kind of joke and say you know they pun intended they are seem to be polar opposites um much of the principles that take a team through a thousand mile race in Alaska and the Yukon are the same principles it takes to lead a great team in the corporate environment um being the principles of teamwork the principles of leadership the principles of how a leader's mindset controls all of it um it usually blows people away how related it is and because we're talking about dogs i think it breaks down barriers and and people tend to uh, see things in a different way than they have from maybe other speakers you know from different environments who, who kind of are teaching the same thing but but with very different stories and very different messaging yes because this is a photograph of hank with his work clothes on isn't it Yes, indeed. That is Hank at the end of his uh, first thousand mile race that he finished in Fairbanks, Alaska. And I can't remember, I think the temperature was minus 35, minus 40 that night. It was really, really cold when they crossed the finish line. But uh, yeah, that's his go to for finishing is, uh, you know, tons, tons of warm clothes and and oh. everybody has tools, of course, that they need to do their job. Um, yes. Yes. that uh, he also has this huge custom made knife that he wears and you know for many reasons for cutting up food for the dogs and uh -huh. you know be used to fix things and anyway that first speech we did uh Hank and I co-present and, and I built the bridges between the two worlds and then he got up to tell stories and um I mean this is Hank's comfort zone so a boardroom in downtown Toronto is is never going to be his his total comfort zone <laughs> and that's why we'd taken the sled because that's his comfort zone so when he held on to that sled you know he was he was in his comfort zone spot but anyway I'd said you know that Hank was really nervous and uh I'll never forget and, and be ever forever grateful to him the CEO who was right up the uh, the front of the stage stood up and and he held out his Blackberry which at that time of course was the tool uh -huh. and this was like nine years ago clearly and he's like I will trade you this Blackberry for that knife and Hank just looked at him like no effing way you know and, um, it just really broke the ice for Hank and, and the CEO was so kind to do that and then you know he went on to tell about the tools he needs and some the story so it, it, it was a fun start for Hank. Wow wow absolutely amazing wow truly amazing story so thank you very very much uh Miss Tanya McGreedy uh from the lovely winter dance dog sled tours there for sharing that st beautiful story with us about leadership training so for further information please reach out to Tanya or visit her on her website which is shown here so thank you all very very much once again for watching. Mm -hmm.